Let me, let me, let me throw the chat up here as well. I just throw the chat up right here. Yeah, we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome again. Okay, we'll smash. Doc Circuit 18, where we got ourselves. Malky 360 first Guy Fage, opening up the show. Guy Fage with the classic King DD. Malcolm giving the Robin another try. Seen his Robin a few times here. It's pretty good. I like watching it. As he just, as he just smacks a Gordo out of the way. That was funny. On the back hit. Good, you. good avoidance by Guy Fage actually getting out of that uh that situation there with a big back air. It's Malcolm with the suck. No follow-up though from Guy Fage. Up air though, keeping Malcolm in the air. Ooh! Good timing, good reflection. Thunder! Ooh! Oh, the Gordo! Hi, oh, I should probably did. come and commentate. Maybe. You gotta actually join the arena, though. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. It's alright. Game, game one just started between Malcolm and Guy Fage. Okay. Who are they playing? Uh, Guy Fage's going King DDD, and Malcolm's playing Robin right now. Alright. Oh, that was a delay! Oh, the dash attack caught the get up, got the uh, neutral get up from Malcolm, the delay. I don't know what the actual term is. It's like, a, it's like an ever, not an everlasting hitbox, but like the hitbox is out for more than lingering. one. Lingering. Woo! Lingering hitbox, that's it. Right there, a nice side B to up smash there by Malcolm, evening things up real quick. Why is the, the lobby music the Tetris theme? <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it's, uh, it's copyright. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, Nintendo. <laughs> apparently, like Nintendo will like copyright you for using music. Or actually, I think something I find funny is that like co or like Nintendo will like copyright their own streams for using their music. <laughs> That's great. Oh no, Malcolm was out of. Malcolm didn't have any fire left in the tome. Oh, but that's a jet hammer. Oh my god, Malcolm, you brave man. Oh, you're dead now. Got the get up attack, but the up smash is not enough to kill. King DD, the big boy. A second one? No. Kiss the oh, big hit! Oh, that was huge! Sorry, did. Did something happen? Oh, that was hype. Was that right? Uh, to be honest, you had the right reaction, but like two seconds off. Damn. I was just realizing the song playing on Small Battlefield is an Animal Crossing song, and that just never feels right to me. I know, I hate all the Animal Crossing music. I, it's oh, not something you listen to. Guy Fage is in a bad situation there. He upbeat back on the stage, and Malcolm was ready for him. Do you think there's anybody who just like, like, turns on Animal Crossing tunes and listens to them while playing Probably. this game. Probably. While playing this game, I don't know, but I know... I'm, I'm sure, like... Oh, yeah, definitely listening to music, like, outside of this. Yeah, like... It's so good. Like, 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 you ever see, like, those, like, YouTube videos of, like, oh, low-key hip-hop mix for studying? <laughs> There's probably some of those, but for Animal Crossing. I've listened to those live streams like that, but with, like, Zelda music. Oh, yeah. I think those are really good for, like, study music. Get some, like, Kakariko going. I love Kakariko. Right now, Malcolm not in a great position right here. 103 to 41 percent on Gaia Phage. That jet hammer, that was scary. But the down smash instead. No, Malcolm's gonna survive though. Why did Malcolm with that? Gordo. Up to Malcolm has to land the Gordo though. Good block with the uh, the side. Oh, Malcolm, get the big hit. Malcolm's got to be really careful though. But he's yeah, Malcolm's playing really safe fire. right now. Just staying really close to Gaia Phage actually, just avoiding these hitboxes that probably could kill him as a fully charged thunder. Ooh. She gets Guy of Fage to 90%. All of a sudden, Malcolm with the... Oh, my God, Malcolm. That was a big oh. Let's go. That was a big read. And the stream. Wow. How did he turn that around? That was both a big read and the stream crash. Did it? Apparently. Did I break I the stream? I still see it on... I think I the stream broke. I still see it on, on Twitch. Do you? Yeah. Uh... Oh, there you go. It just broke for me. Uh, so it's a you issue. 
I guess. I don't know what happened, but there we go. That was a nice rebuild by Mal to get that uh, to get that last dog completing the comeback. So I guess saying he can commentate. We already have like four commentators lined up. <laughs> we can hate Austin. Ethan said he wanted to commentate today, but I've yet to hear from him. Ethan's watching Breaking Bad right now, so. Why is he watching Breaking Bad? Um, because it's a good show. I've never seen Breaking Bad, so I don't know. It is. It it's is really a good. good show. Hmm. Doesn't seem like my kind of show, so I probably won't watch it. I didn't think so either until I watched it. It's pretty short. Mm, it was a good show. Is it actually? It's what like five mean? seasons. Hmm. Okay. Short for a really popular long, really yeah, popular series. I'm think, I, I think of short as in like anime short terms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, Walking Dead's like 11 seasons, so take that yeah. as you will. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Guy Fage opting to run it back, and Malcolm more than happy to do so. As we head into game two between these guys. Same characters. Same characters, same stage, same music. No. That is not the same. <laughs> that magic can't. Yo, let's go, Magic can't. This is also music that I don't think fits the playing Smash. There's a lot of Smash music that doesn't really work for Smash. <laughs> Oh. oh no! Oh, oh, doesn't that doesn't that spike? I if he didn't have armor. But, but uh, DDD's uppy has armor on it. Yeah. During, uh, during the initial launch, so the armor probably that needed. But I, I was very like... No! Oh no! He did! Typhoon's oh. at 91 too. He just saved his stock. That was great. That is that is like hero using Kamikaze. There's no difference. Good pressure with the side view there, able to get the grab. Yeah, he's using the, um, I also notice he's using Thunder a lot, just to, like, yeah. just to annoy him, honestly. A lot of, like, zone, yeah, a lot of zone tools. We want to try and force DDD. Just, to, just uh, tap B. Approach. He's also using, like, Thunder and Fire to also, like, reflect these Gordos, and he's doing a really good job of it. Robin is a cool okay, character when played well. Yes, Malcolm gets hit by a Gordo. Yeah, it's just I I realize he's using it. It's a really good way to just bait an option out of him. Yeah. If he just throws it at the shield, then he knows he's gonna, that um, Guy Fage is going to jump immediately. Guy Fage has also been trying to do a lot of wave lanes on that platform on the <laughs> platforms there, and I think Malcolm's starting to call him out on it. I almost never use wave lands except for I, I don't either. The the only one case that I use wave lands for is with Hero, um, and I don't I don't even have to worry about this anymore. But uh, with Hero, the um, only like platform that he can't uh, full hop up to is the um, Kalo side platform. <laughs> oh, again, but I don't even think Malcolm was mashing that one. So with Hero, I have to I have to full hop and then air dodge down to land on the platform. Is the thing. Both of them gotta be careful here because Guy Face can't. Uh, I think the Sucker Cuck only kills DVD first, so Guy Face has to find a different way to take this stock. Which Malcolm is kind of running away with this year with 92% off the bat to Malcolm's 12. Ooh. Nice edge guard, but Guy Face still has a couple jumps left. Malcolm tried going for the read to end it right there, but now he's stuck in a ledge trap. Yeah, doesn't that that He's down smash? Either. He's gotta wait for that to recharge. Doesn't that down smash linger for like forever? Uh, it lingers for a bit. It's got a couple hitboxes. Seems like it'll be oh, really good. Oh, been dangerous, Mal. Malcolm, I think playing with a little bit too much confidence uh -oh. here. Right there, good air dodge. Just one for there. Oh, that might be it. No! Oh no! Malcolm's getting impatient now. I think. Yeah, I noticed. He's gotta be careful here. Oh, I you know I know what he's trying to go for. Yeah, I saw it coming. I baited him out. That was a good bait by Guy Page, actually. I think with that one, Malcolm was playing with a little bit too much confidence there. 
around the end. Guy Fage making him pay with a comeback of his own, making it a 1 1 game. 1 1 set. 1 1 battle. 1 1 confrontation. The score is tied. Hold on, Maggie's barking. I'll be right back. Don't just shut up. I'm going to. <laughs> But in an animal friendly way, don't. I'm not violating. T <laughs> yeah, Guy Fage, he uh, charged up the jet hammer, went up to the platform, which baited Malcolm to do a normal getup where he just went down the platform again and hit him. How's John finally here? God damn it, Sean is downloading 3D All-Stars and is telling Jimmy to wait. It's good that, you know what, I'm kind of glad I made him play someone from Kamloops. I, I had the read there, but. Turning into game three now, between Malky and Gaiaphage. And I actually didn't see where they went. They're going to the normal battlefield now. Instead of the smaller battlefield, they're going to... Regular size battlefield, the middle battlefield, the middle child of battlefield. The middle child, yet also the oldest. Wrap your head around that one. Right on, guy face already starting up pretty good. Ooh! Malcolm saw the bait coming and then baited Guy and Fitch with a bait of his own. The great debate. Malcolm making a bit of a comeback. Good shield pressure with that Nair. He's charging up that thunder there, Guy Fitch. Good patience on the ledge right there, but he but he held back. And he tried to go for the cup. That would have been a spike if there was no armor. But the backer is going to take it anyway. Avoided by Malcolm and good, good job calling out the or reading that uh, down smash and avoiding it. Right now, Malcolm's got to play a bit of a patient game here. Guy Fix wasn't able to hit that down tilt, but the Gordo. That's been a knockback there, keeping Malcolm, forcing him to recover high. Ooh, good sway. Good sway right there. Zigzagging. Malcolm with the mash, and once again, the armor saving Gaiaphage. Up smash, that's going to be quite a bit of damage. Up smash again, not quite. That's getting stale now. That Gordo almost got the kill. Ooh. Good reflection there by Malcolm. I'm back. Very quick reaction. Oh, but the gun. <laughs> that looks funny. Oh, Malcolm has a lead. He does. We, we, we learned last game that that doesn't mean a lot. Yeah. Especially I mean, with like kind of DDB. Well, like, yeah. This has, game, this has been a set of comebacks so far. Yeah. It looks like Guy Fage is trying to get here already with a nice. Oh my god. Hit. Already at 68%. Again, Both what's the point of playing Peach when everyone can do that much damage? What? Oh, Malcolm! Held on the ledge too much. I did not know that hit there. It does. It hits under the ledge. That is broken. Malcolm tried catching the up B with, uh, with an arc fire. And a fair off the ledge. Not quite enough. Imagine if Robin could kill. I'm, I'm you know, I'm surprised Dash Jack hit. <laughs> how did, I don't know. I don't know how the fucking butter knife beat out the suck, but I guess we'll take it. Right now, Guy Fage, kind of chip away at Malcolm. Malcolm is out of uh, arc fire, so you gotta wait for it to recharge. That's been Malcolm's main zoning tool and his main tool to get rid of these Gordos as well. Oh. 
<laughs> oh no. No, this is so sad. That I can't believe that. Because, like, with every other rapid jab, it has a bigger hitbox at the end. That doesn't. Yeah. 